Alright, so you may be wondering what I'm doing here, and uh, actually it's a good fucking question. <laughs> now, partly because of nostalgia reasons, I want to uh, see exactly how much stronger I've become, but also there's something that I want to show and uh, give a little bit of a sneak peek at what that might be. I'm also giving myself a little bit of a look myself. Weird. Have not fought these in a while. These are giants. There we go. Even though they're like really weak compared to what I am now, it's a little unsettling fighting something that you're not fully familiar with. At least after having not fought something for a long time, it can feel a bit alien. It's another good reason to maybe go through older parts of the game, too. That way, the only thing keeping you ahead isn't just your stats. Like these things here. I really wanted to parry them, but I also wanted to see how how much this moonlight, uh, holy moonlight sword would wreck them. If I can get them together. There we go. Rest in peace together. Anyway, about this here, I'm just get a bit of a look around. Hmm. That's interesting. I don't think I noticed that before. Well, last time I was through here, well, for one thing, I wasn't really looking around, but also wasn't really dark out, so I didn't notice that light. I wonder if I can get there. But now that's what I'm looking at there. Do you recognize those two structures in the background there? If you do any paying attention, you notice that the, um, the building on the right that I'm looking at here, that is the church workshop tower that leads down to the old abandoned workshop. And then that building that was off to the left, that's the uh, clock tower at the base which you fight the Gramelia. I just find that really interesting because um, when you play in a new game and you encounter the cleric beast here, uh, you don't really pay attention to, yeah, the Grand Cathedral area is right behind. And there's another detail uh, that I want to show, but I'm probably going to go into in another video on uh, another character, because I've already beaten Vicar Amelia. But this area here, remember it, it's very, very interesting. Or, at the very least, uh, it's just another one of those little details that the game shows clearly, but a player running through, either terrified or just enjoying the hack and slash after leveling up a bunch or getting used to the game, you might just kind of blitz past some things or miss, miss it entirely, uh, not paying attention. Anyway, I'm going to... Uh, quickly try to see if I can find a way to get to that uh, to get to that little tower up there because it looks like that's something that I can uh, you know it looks like a little um, watchtower like thing like that's in the Grand Cathedral area that I can walk on yeah it's a dead end Maybe if I go around, is there a way behind it? 
Oh, these fucking guys. Well, they're probably easy to take out now. Oh, he's still alive. <laughs> I thought I hit him. That dog's like, well, oh, thought I heard something, guess no. Oh! Yeah, having like almost 50 blood tinge really helps. Plus, if you guys got a hold of Evelyn at higher blood tinge levels, I think like 23. That's not that high, but at like 23, you have more damage on that than the Hunter's Pistol. Hey, I forgot about you. A dog that's supposed to have good hearing right next to a, um, all this couldn't hear it, but this giant here, banging on the door, I was like, what, what was that noise? I should check it out. So there's the tower there. If anyone has been up there, uh, or, you know, if you have a video, someone up there, feel free to let me, let me know, because... Did I really miss out on something that's like this early on in the game? I mean, the way this game works, it could actually be like much further along. And I just have to come back to it after, you know, getting something or accessing it from another angle. Alright. I really doubt that the way to get up there would be down there. And since this isn't my first time going through it, I really don't feel like doing the sewers again, so. No. What about this way? Nope, not there, that's dead end. So this whole area just rests right over the sewers because it sewers on this side too. Oh, oh, oh. Can I one shot him? I'm pretty sure I can. I'm pretty sure, though, I still took more damage than he did from the fall. Yeah, now I, I can't even see it now. Hey, Crow. What's up, Crow? Nothing over here. Yeah, I have no idea. Maybe they just lit it up to make it look nice. I know, though, there is. There's a lit up balcony um, to the left of the clock tower in the Grand Cathedral area that does have something on it that you can only access, though, when you get to the upper cathedral. So I know they do shit like that. I just don't remember ever seeing anyone access uh, anything above the bridge. At least on that side of the Great Bridge here. And yes, that was totally necessary. If anything, you can at least use Madara's Whistle to uh, destroy surrounding objects. Although I want to try on some NPC hunters too. Even if they get one hit in, it's still gonna hit them harder than what they can do to me with one hit. So yeah, I don't I have no clue how to get up there if it's possible, so... I guess I'll just have to wait. Oh, there's a new player. I wonder if they died to the giant. I feel like a lot of players seeing that giant would just nope the fuck out and then just kind of rush past, or think they sneak past and then attack these guys up here not knowing that the giant uh, does come up here then because he noticed you, so... If it's possible, I'm going to find a way up there. One day. And if it's not possible, then I just wasted about 10 minutes. 